There are so many regenerative medicine clinics advertising that intravenous or IV stem cell therapy will change your life and cure your pain. But is there clinical evidence to support these claims? Is there a randomized control trial directly comparing IV stem cell therapy to intraarticular stem cell therapy in the treatment of symptomatic knee osteoarthritis? And it turns out there is. Hey everyone, Dr. Jeff Pang here. My goal is to help each and every one of you live an active and healthy lifestyle. So if that's something you're interested in, please consider subscribing to my channel. Okay, so followers of my channel know that mesenchymal stem cell injections, regardless of where they are derived from, bone marrow, adipose, placental, or umbilical have been shown to be beneficial in the treatment of symptomatic knee osteoarthritis. These injections are administered under ultrasound guidance directly into the affected joint. And by putting the cells directly into the affected joint, in theory, we would get the best results. But there is another approach. Some healthcare providers tout the extraordinary benefits of intravenous stem cell therapy. This means an infusion of the stem cells directly into into your bloodstream. But is there any evidence to support this practice and how does it compare to injections directly into the joint? Unfortunately, there are zero randomized control trials looking at the use of intravenous stem cell therapy for the treatment of knee arthritis in humans. In fact, there are zero randomized control trials looking at the use of intravenous stem cell therapy for any orthopedic condition. This is a huge red flag. But okay, let's keep looking. What kind of evidence is there. It turns out there is an animal experiment looking at the effect of intraarticular stem cell therapy versus intravenous stem cell therapy for knee osteoarthritis. The authors took 30 adult rats and randomized them into five groups. The first two groups were control groups. Group one got a saline injection into their knee. Group two got an IV infusion of saline. Group three served as an osteoarthritis group with no injection therapy. Group 4 was an osteoarthritis group with an injection of stem cells directly into the joint, and Group 5 was an osteoarthritis group with an injection of stem cells intravenously. The researchers compared the joints of the rats one month after the injections to compare the results. They used special dyes to characterize the general architecture of the joint. They also looked to measure how much proteoglycans were in the cartilage. More proteoglycans mean more robust cartilage and less osteoarthritis. The researchers also looked at special protein expression to see how many cartilage cells had been destroyed. The researchers found that group Three was the worst. This is no surprise. They had osteoarthritis with no therapy. Their joint surface was irregular, it was fissured, and it was fragmented. In contrast, both groups four and groups five had better architecture of their joints. They both had more robust cartilage formation and more proteoglycans. Both groups four and five also had less expression of special proteins, which meant that they had less cartilage cells that were damaged. However, when comparing groups four and five, group four did much better. The group that got the stem cells injected into the joint had better overall expression than the group that got stem cells intravenously. The authors concluded that intraarticularly injected stem cells showed better healing of knee osteoarthritis than intravenously injected stem cells. So what are my takeaways? IV stem cell therapy is considered highly experimental with unproven efficacy and more importantly, unproven safety profile. And these are serious adverse effects. According to this article, there are many case reports that IV infusion of stem cells have led to pulmonary embolism, which is a blood clot in the lungs, neurological disturbances with loss of consciousness, headaches, and confusion, numerous severe bacterial infections in the spine and joints, severe neurological and neuron damage, as well as growth of tumors. Many of these unfortunate cases led to death. These are really scary side effects. And we just don't see this with PRP injections or stem cell injections into joints. We have a constantly growing library of literature showing not only the benefits of orthobiologic therapy, but also its safety profile. 
And while we don't have a head-to-head -head human trial of IV stem cell therapy versus intraarticular stem cell therapy, the fact that an animal study shows that a joint injection produces far better results than IV infusion really makes me question the current use of IV stem cell therapy for the use of orthopedic conditions. Now that's not to say nobody should be doing IV stem cell therapy. I just think it's not ready for prime time and widespread use, and that it needs to be studied in a controlled environment to really understand its effects and more importantly, its safety profile. And if you're interested in learning more about the data behind other types of orthobiologics, such as PRP, check out my deep dive video next. Thanks for watching.